everyone. Right, so after this morning's episode, I felt as I've got to come back and do this recipe again. So as you know, when you go live, things go wrong. You saw it go wrong, but there is no way I can pin that to the top of the Facebook feed. So I really felt that I need to come back and show you how to do it properly. And, um, and for those of you who are watching on YouTube, you won't know what the hell has gone on, but basically what I'm gonna do is this session will go onto YouTube and I'll tag the other session on behind on the back of it so that you can see all the mistakes that I did earlier this morning. So thank you for joining me again. Um, I'm not sure which of you was here this morning or about this afternoon, but we're going to do the free ounce. Now, I've made a loaf tin the correct way. It's orange zest with raspberries and blueberries, and I'm about to take it out of the oven. So let me just go and grab it now for you, and then that can be cooling down when we put this together. dry what's it but I just think I'll give it another minute so while I'll do that let's talk through the ingredients okay I got myself my dry ingredients was correct this morning but my wet ingredients weren't I got myself in a proper little muddle so let's go through them again so we're going to make blueberry friands you can use any of the flavored icing sugars which I'll go through with you in a minute so in a bowl what I've done is I've measured out the ingredients so we've got 250 grams of flavored icing sugar and this is blueberry definitely blueberry Maria so <laughs> so this is 250 grams of flavored icing sugar and John have we got anybody back with us who was with us this morning yes yes I think we have and while he's looking for you um, well, hi it, everyone yeah, John and Maria are back in the kitchen as well. So we've got 125 grams of ground almonds. And we've got 100 grams of plain flour. So who's back with us, John? Uh, well, we've got uh, Elaine Hollowell, Julianne Barrett, Claire Miller, Was you Geraldine Kisby, <laughs> Robert Allen, Deep Singh Bawa, Marlon Andy. Govindu. So what you all feeling for me this morning? So it is awful when you go live, you know, and I get really hot and bothered going live. And I'm not a nervous person, but it obviously comes out in other ways. So let's, so what Robert we've done Alves is- with us as well, hi Robert. Hi Robert, hi everybody, anyhow. So I'm really pleased you've come back. I'm gonna make this session really quick. So all <coughs> the dry ingredients have gone in the bowl there. And what I've done is I've just mixed them all together. Okay, so I am going to get my um, egg whites and put those in the mixer. So the egg whites was 250 mils. This morning I've got confused and I've only put 150 mils. I don't know what I've actually put in to be fair. So we've got 250 mils of the egg white going into the mixer and we're going to beat that so it's nice and foamy. Not stiff deep and round, just really nice and foamy. Okay? Did you enjoy this morning? Any of you were watching before? <laughs> Did you feel for me? Because I felt for me, I nearly went under. <laughs> so while that's mixing, everyone gets this out. much improved from the other one. So the first one I did this morning, I didn't put enough butter in, and I don't think I put the camera in the other one. This one? Yeah. Right, okay. So I don't think we actually put in this morning enough butter and enough egg white. So I'm just gonna leave that there to cool. And this is made with orange zest, definitely orange zest. And I put in there raspberries and blueberries, because I thought it would be really nice to take the orange, the raspberries, and the blueberries together. So we'll let that cool there while we get this together. So for those of you who didn't see this morning, which camera will, this one? So for those of you who didn't see this morning, and um, half of these have been eaten. I don't know how many I ate out of stress. So they came out, these, these were the ones that came out perfectly fine. These are the ones that came out in the little oval shape. Okay, once I let them cool, they do come out really very easy. Okay, but some of them were, broke up a little bit. 
So they do taste really nice. So even though I didn't quite have enough egg mix in there, they do taste nice. But more of a biscuity outside. So they do taste good. So here's our egg white. And I don't know which camera John's on, but I'll bring it over to you in a moment. Sorry, John, I'll come over there. So are we on here? Mm -hmm. So our egg white, so all you're doing is you're just beating it up so it's a nice foam, not a stiff peak, yeah? And then we're gonna pop all that into the bowl. So you can see there's a lot more ingredients in the bowl there's now than the ones I made this morning. So for you guys who are watching this afternoon's session, you'd be, you'd be really trust to go and see what I did this morning. Well, I'm not gonna, not gonna tell you everything. You'll have to go and find out for yourself. So, <laughs> so any professionals who are watching, you know that this is uh, my home kitchen, mine and John's home kitchen. And what we do is we do free, bait, free tutorials in our own time. They're not things for sale. The things that we just make using our flavoured icing sugars. We may not do it the way, professional way all the time, but what we're trying to do is encourage people to bake and show people how easy it is to bake. And in fairness, I'm actually doing this session again because I can't believe I mugged up such an easy recipe. So this is a great one to do with the kids. So all you're doing is, can you see this on the camera well enough? Yep. So all you're doing is, is folding this into the mixture, okay? So you've got to make sure that it's all folded in. So it takes a little while, so don't stir it, just keep folding it in. So is there any questions, John, about anybody? No, not yet. No? Well, feel free, guys, to ask for any questions, anything you want to ask, have any help with. I think they're watching in amazement that it's going so well. <laughs> <laughs> which do you prefer the muck-ups or when it's going well but the thing is guys i really want you to give this a go so uh, we'll talk about the eight taster bundle in a minute but i do want you to give this a go with any flavor and tell me what you think of them because i'm sure they're things that you're going to repeat time and time again so this recipe so as you can see i keep folding it so this recipe can go into a loaf tin a large loaf tin which we've got below in front of us mini loaf tins it can go in cupcake tins and it can go in a free am tin which i'll show you in a minute those people who saw it this morning i'll show it to those this afternoon so you don't see the free am tins very often in fact i didn't even know what a free am was and this recipe has actually been adapted by a blogger who blogged for us called joe what's she called Joe, blog, Joe Blogs Bakes. Have you used unsalted butter? I have. I don't, it doesn't actually say whether you should use salted or unsalted. It just says um, melted butter. And what, what is it you're making? I'm making free ends. I'm going to go through the recipe with you again. Do you want to hold up the one that's finished? So the ones that are finished, this is the one that we've actually made into the loaf tin. And I am just waiting for it to cool down, is that there? Yeah. We'll wait for it to cool down and then we're going to pop it out. So, and then these, I'm going to make these as individual ones. So now I'll put everything in so you can see that it's all incorporated, all the flour's gone, and then we're going to put in the melted butter. Now my first one this morning, I didn't put in enough melted butter. Okay, now this is, uh, melted butter is, 160 grams and I think what I'd done this morning I only put a hundred in and I think what I did was on the recipe when I was looking on my phone it's got blueberries and I think somehow my eyes have just got muddled up I don't really know what it's got cool for all figures so yeah so anyway let's stick to the recipe it's 160 grams of melted butter and you've got to incorporate that again don't stir just keep folding it in until it's all in. Robert Allen said he was in the Asda this morning, so he only caught a glimpse. What happened? You can watch later, Robert. Oh, Rob, 
Not... How, how not to follow a recipe, I think, <laughs> is what we're going to title it. Robert, well, later on, Maria's going to put all this on YouTube, but all the things that went wrong will be at the end of this session. I'm not going to hide from the session. I'm really not going to hide from the session at all. And, uh, you know, I could have easily deleted it, but I'm a big girl. I can cope with the fact that I made a mistake. I'm happy to say I made a mistake. And the thing when you go live is, you can't hide it. The only thing I could have done is delete the whole session and not put it on YouTube later. But afterwards, I just said to John and Maria, we've got to do this again, we've got to do it right. Okay, so this is all done. I'm quite happy with that mixture. So it's a nice mixture, let me just get rid of, let me get rid of that one. And then if you can see that, it's quite a nice thick mixture. This, am I on the yeah, right camera? Perfect. Okay, so it's a nice thick mixture. And then what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna put some of the mixture in here. I had to send John to the shop again to get some more raspberries. So just one second, and get these in the right way. So I'm just gonna pour some in the little mini loaf tins for you. And then I'm gonna do some in the Freon tins as well. I've already sprayed these tins with spray release. So anybody who thinks I haven't already greased them, I have already greased them. So we're gonna fill these up half full. And no disrespect to you guys, it's very easy to sit in your armchair at home and just laugh, and I would probably do the same, but you know, it's very hard when you're actually here in front of everybody, knowing that everyone's watching what you're doing. So I'm just gonna pop these in the oven, so I'm just gonna clear up here a minute. So I'm gonna put some fruits in, and then we're gonna pop these in the oven. A comment here from Lisa Mark says we've been using our icing sugar flavoured icing for a while and loves them. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, she now knows that she can use them in cakes. Yeah. And does she have to use all the flavoured icing sugar in place of caster sugar or half and half? Half and half. Uh, it's down to personal preference. So I my personal preference is I use all the icing sugar. And simply because you always lose 50% of the flavour, doesn't matter whether you're using our icing sugars or whether you're using um, liquid flavours, you always burn off 50% of the flavour in the oven. So I prefer to use the full amount, but you know, some people do it differently and it's really up to you. Yeah, Lynn says, Carol, you are funny, but you was brilliant this morning. Oh, thanks Lynn. <laughs> you see how hot and bothered I am. So I'm just going to pop these in the oven. Did you get a picture of that, Maria? Yeah, so these are going to go in the oven. And they're going to go in the oven for about, I don't know which camera we're on. So they're going to go in the oven, which one are we on, John? So they're going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes. And then I'm just going to show you the free am pan. So for those who weren't here with us this morning, are we on this camera? So for those who weren't with us this morning, this is a free <coughs> one. It's a nice oval shape, okay? And this this is, you know, if you go if you go onto Amazon or elsewhere, Google free and pans, this is what you'll get. And you don't have to use this, you can use cupcake pans, you can use the mini loaf pan, the large pan, it's entirely up to you. Okay, I have already sprayed it, but I'm just gonna give it another quick spray, just to make sure. So I'm glad some people think I'm funny. But the one thing is with my regular followers, and if you're new, is there any newbies there watching? So the one thing with my regular followers, they know that I say it as I see it, which is great. Um, and I own up to everything. But I've, I've reckoned I needed to go into an old folks home after this morning session. I was seriously concerned about myself. So, and there's just no way that I could have let that session stay there. Said to Maria, no way. Maria was surprised, there she was, putting all the comment, all the comments and things on the links. And uh, I ran in and said no. And then John was supposed to go back to work. 
so he's had to stay behind. Now obviously there's not enough for the 12 here now because I've used some for the four mini ones. So you're filling these up three quarters of the way. And what I'm going to do is you're not going to see these baked, okay, um, because they take 20 minutes. And I'm sure you don't want to listen to me for the next 20 minutes going on with myself. So I'm going to finish them off now. And then anybody who's around in about 20 minutes, I'm just going to bring them out for you. Or we'll tag them all onto the YouTube video. So I think that's everything on in there. So one second. And my cloth. You can do a nice neater version if you want. You could have put all that into a piping bag. But uh, use a clean cloth. Don't use your regular dish cloth. I'm a big fan of you having your own personal cloth for your baking. Just one that you keep around for your baking things. And always have a nice fresh bowl of water. So what we're going to do with these is, I'm going to pop those in. As I said before, these are fresh raspberries and we got these from the co-op last night. Well, the ones this morning. I've had to send John again because what was left this morning, John scoffed, which is why we have no more. So let's put they weren't planned to be needed. Pardon? They weren't planned to be needed. <laughs> and then what we're going to do with these is we're just going to pop blueberries on those, just make them a little bit different. So... Have we got many people here, guys, who are here this morning, who have happily come back? And is there anybody who missed this morning's session? Anybody mm, who wants to ask some questions? New. Maybe we've got the Americans now. Have we got anyone from America? Because you were all in bed this morning, missing the excitement. Yeah. We've got Sabrine from Austria back with us. Oh, right. Hello, Sabrine. It's made her day in the office. Has it? What, my mistakes all coming back? <laughs> well, clearly not getting much work done. <laughs> So I'm going to pop these in the oven now, okay, 20 minutes. So for those who missed us this morning, let's talk about the bundle deal we've got going. So let's just move out there. These mats are great, by the way. We sell these on our website. And if anybody doesn't know what our website is, our website is sugarandcrumbs dot co dot uk so it's www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk have a look on there we sell a great range of silicone molds from katie sue karen davies we sell that all our flavors icing sugars a great range of color pe uh, sugar paste um, we sell gel colors from the color splash range sugar flare range we do uh, powders as well and we've got lots of baking ingredients on there so please do have a look so let's get this one out and see how this one goes <coughs> So we've got a few people from America have joined us as well. We've got Jade, we've got Heather. So Hello. Everyone must be wa waking up. So you're all awake now, are you? I don't know where it is in your time of the world, but feel free to, um, just gonna turn this over and let this flip out. Feel free to let us know what your time zone is, what time it is there. And you'll have missed this morning's session, but basically I'm back doing it again because I got myself completely confused this morning on the liquid ingredients, not the dry ingredients, the liquid ingredients. So let's get this out. There you go. That comes off nicely. Now, a lady did ask me this morning because very quickly I tipped it over and then I put it straight on the board and she was quite right. Would it sweat? Of course it would sweat. But I put it on there just for display only. So before we cut into that, okay, what do we think of this? Do we see it? Mm -hmm. you see that yeah. what do we think of that now it looks like a beauty so you guys yeah, this morning like shadow to the... yeah it's the sun's coming in yeah. so we've got the afternoon sun so you guys this morning massive improvement double the size really nice and soft how it should be it's cooked through as well okay so let's talk about the bundle and these were the small ones that we did this morning these were the ones this was our third batch anybody over here yeah. okay i'll put them back over here yeah okay so anybody who's watching this morning, I actually did three batches, okay? I did a loaf, a loaf one, and I didn't put enough butter and egg in. And then I did um, 
the oval ones in the three end pan and I definitely didn't put enough egg in, it was quite firm, but they came after the loaf one I've thrown away, okay? The ones that I did without enough egg in, but with the correct amount of butter, they came out fine, they're absolutely fine. I broke one or two because I was trying to dig them out of the pan when they were still warm. So I broke one or two. They do taste lovely, but they have got a more biscuity taste on the outside, <laughs> biscuity texture. But these are lovely. So they're going to go into work tomorrow. The boys would have got them this afternoon. But now that I'm back here doing the live, so they're on the tray ready to go over there. And then let me tell you about the bundle deal. So this has been our new hot seller. It's been going crazy. Everyone's been going mad for these. At Sugar and Crumbs, we make about 30 to 36 different flavours of flavoured icing sugars. And by the way, guys, we've got our new flavoured icing sugars coming out not this weekend, the weekend after. I think that's right, isn't it, John? Our new flavoured icing sugars, it's not this weekend, it'll be next weekend, yeah? I don't know where I am now, which day I'm on. But we've got gin and tonic, non-alcoholic, it's great. Loads of you have been tasting the buttercream samples we've been sending out. And we've got Prosecco, it's coming out as well. So they will be out next weekend. We'll have them ready on the website. So let's go back to this bundle deal. So sugar and crumbs, flavoured icing sugars. What can you use our icing sugars for? You can use our sugars to replace any sugar in any recipe that you have. So if you want to replace it in your cake mix, your bun mix, your macarons, your cheesecake, your marshmallows, um, your friands, um, scones, any mix that you want to make, you can just take the sugar away, replace it with our flavoured icing sugar, take away the flavour that they've asked you to put in the recipe because you don't need it anymore because these are already pre-flavoured and they give you a different taste experience. Yes, you can buy liquid flavourings, but it's very difficult to buy lots of really nice flavourings that are genuinely tasting like the flavour these do. So we put in a, a taster bundle of flavours um, mainly because these are not our big top selling ones but we want to get people to try them and the only way that we thought we'd get people to try them is by doing a discount and um, on, a, on a complete set so in this bundle we have banana split a lady this morning posted on our page that she'd done banana split marshmallows by mistake so she's obviously on the same time frame as I am she um, she's done them by mistake instead of raspberry ripple but she said they were amazing and if you want to know how to watch mar how to make marshmallows go back a few videos on our video page and you'll see Laura making marshmallows and loads of you guys have made them and they are divine and you'll never buy shop-bought marshmallows again so we've got um, we've got um, banana split. We have a comment here from Cornish Copies. Did, did you do the Did you do the fail bakes on purpose no. to show how they are not to look? Was she watching this morning? No, no, no it, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> no. Carol left her brain at the side of the bed this morning. <laughs> Lovely husband. Yesterday, telling me how much he loved me, Valentine's Day. Today, I've left my brain at the side of the bed. How no. nice is that? <laughs> <laughs> so what we have used in this bundle is the blueberry the blueberry we've made blueberry free ounce and this loaf one we've actually used the orange zest so the ones that are in the oven now are blueberry there's a good chance you might get to see them now actually if I go on long enough also use these as well um, to make blueberry muffins so if you want to make the really nice giant blueberry muffins and I'll come on and make them for you soon okay they are delicious and you drop the blueberries inside the muffins but they are amazing okay key lime fabulous flavor okay a lot of you use this for your cheesecakes it's really nice to put in fresh cream as well so a lot of you didn't realize fresh cream you just you get it single cream whipping cream double cream whichever cream you want if you're pouring it over some fruit and you want to jazz up your free cream just put in a couple of spoonfuls of this give it a nice zesty flavor orange zest is what i've used in this one here so i've used orange zest so that we've got orange raspberries and blueberries in the loaf pan then we have gingerbread which is a great flavor this is great for making cookies with so if you want to make biscuits shortbread it's great so you can use any of these sugars this is a really nice one um, if you this one is sherbet kids love this one in fact the kids love all of them sherbet it's great flavor and we have the pineapple. This is the only one, this one and the pina colada are the only two flavors I say don't make meringues or macarons with. 
Um, I wasn't quite sure. It's obviously something to do with the pineapple. And I told everybody this last week. Um, and what I said to them is, you know, I don't know why, but it doesn't work with pineapple. And I've got loads of responses and messages that there's something in the enzymes of pineapple that makes um, it break down things. So it won't work in the meringues or the macarons. And then we have Turkish Delight. Now my son was here on Monday and those guys who watched us on Monday night saw him use this make chocolate fondants and they tasted amazing. These make amazing marshmallows. It's lovely for buttercream. They're all great flavours. So that's eight flavours for £16, £2 a bag each. So do get them in your shopping basket. They really are good. And I know that lots of you have had them already and buying them again. So... Let me just tell you what's going on in the next couple of weeks. Monday night, I have got Gwen from the DK applicator here. She's going to be here to talk about the DK applicator, some modifications that she's done to it. She's going to make some demos. She's also here all weekend um, so that Maria can do some little videos for her, okay, so that we can be playing those and everybody else who's selling the DK can. Um, and she's going to be answering questions. The DK applicator, if some of you don't know what that is, is a little tool for putting pearls on your cakes. It speeds up the whole time and it works for 4M and 5M pearls. Um, most people are working with it absolutely fabulous, but like everything, when there's a new tool, that always comes with a couple of problems. So Gwen is going to talk through those issues with you and help those people who are having problems with them. And, um, and lots of hints and tips that she's going to give you. Next Thursday, I'm not here next Thursday. And after today's session, I'm glad I'm going to have a day off next Thursday, but I've got to be somewhere else. And on the following Monday, so we've got a lot going on. We've got Natalie Porter, um, Record Rose. She will be here, amazing young lady. She's gonna have a bundle here, so that's the end of the month. So we've got Gwen next Monday, the Monday after, we're going to have Natalie Porter from Rapid Rose. She's going to bring a bundle with her to sell. She's going to do a discount on that bundle, but you will only be able to buy it for those first 24 hours. After that, it's gone. She's just doing it live because there's not enough in it for us to, for us to sell it really. So, and uh, she's quite aware of that. She's only a small company, but it's a great product that she's got there. And I'm sure when you see all the marvelous things that she can do, you're going to want to invest in that. Um, next month we've got Zoe Fancy Cakes coming on, so we're really looking forward to Zoe Fancy Cakes and we're hoping that she's going to do a fantastic den with the Nifty Nozzles. I've seen one of her videos on YouTube that she's already done and that was amazing, so we'll be using the Russian Pipe and Tips. We've got Rob Allen and Jackie um, Heaton, Bacon Nana from Twitter as well, um, Marion Frost from Patchwork Cutters, I can't think, Super Nick as well who does Patchwork Cutters, loads of people coming on. And not last but least, I am at Inglewood Wood Manor on the 25th of February. Anybody who wants to come and join me and meet me there for the day, you're more than welcome. It will cost you £68, but for that £68, you get a full morning demonstration of Marion for patchwork cutters. She shows you loads of hints and tips and how to put um, Huser cutters and put them all together. She really does a fantastic display. And I'm on in the afternoon doing a nice demo for you there. Something that I've not created before. In fact, I've got loads of things whirling around in my head what I'd like to make. Um, we've got offers on there, show offers on there as well. You get coffee and cake, in, you get a coffee and a biscuit in the morning. Elevenses, you get a two course meal, afternoon um, snack, and you go home with a goodie bag, all for 68 quid and a fabulous day out. A lovely hotel and I will get Maria to pin that link to the top of our page and that will take you through to the patchwork cutters page and you'll actually enroll there if you want to come along and join us so that's the 25th of February so I'm not sure if I've been going on long enough for these four quite minutes a, yeah quite a long time but we need a question on. for 250 mil of egg whites roughly how many eggs do you use about six well I did use six yeah I did use six. So let's go through the recipe because we've only got four or five minutes to wait. So let's go through the recipe again. Where is Inglewood Manor? It's on the world, near Liverpool. Yeah, well done, John. <laughs> Seems you've never been there. I've been, I've been to the there world. twice now. You've been to the world, have you? Good. 
<laughs> so, so Inglewood Manor is on the Wirral. It's worth a day out, guys. I know quite a few of you have booked into the local Premier Inn. Um, you can't book in at the Manor anymore. I think it's fully booked, but the local Premier Inn has still got rooms. But definitely a worth a day out. It really is very good. And Maria and Laura from the office are going to be with us as well. And we'll be able to sell this bundle deal. We're going to take this bundle deal with me. And I'm going to take five of the top ladies with me as well. Plus some bundle deals on the nozzles. I'll have the baby nozzles with me as well and I'm going to do you some Dems and when you see me use them you'll be wanting to buy them so make sure you can try and get on there if you can it's good it's well worth the investment and um, just let me tell you about classes because people keep asking me about classes the classes are on the website the 99 pounds for the day and they're based up here in Stockport okay 99 pounds for the day you go home with 24 decorated cupcakes that you can eat and you can make a choice of a dome cake or a mini two-tier wedding cake so that's your choice what you want to make on the day I just need to know the week before but I'll email and ask you about that the week before if you come and join me on those days so that's worth an investment as well going back to our flavoured icing sugars we do 36 flavours. Our top sellers are salted caramel, raspberry and white chocolate, lemon drizzle, velvet vanilla and strawberry milkshake. And I think that's standard about with any company. People sometimes just stick to the norm and, uh, you know, play it safe, velvet vanilla. But our velvet vanilla tastes like a delicious Cornish ice cream. Um, our salted caramel is to die for. The raspberry ripple is amazing. Strawberry milkshake, it's exactly like drinking a strawberry milkshake. And the lemon drizzle is fab. And any of you girls who use it, girls and guys, who use that flavour will agree with me. Um, what else was I going to say? Just wasting a few more minutes. Let me just see how my free hands are. So, is there any more questions, John, that you need to ask me? I'm only 18. Are we on 18 or 12 minutes? 18. We're on 18. Are we? Do you want to see if there's any more questions we can answer? So, just hang on with me, guys, while we can. I'm just looking for my, there it is, my thing so we can get these out right. And then we'll cut this cake as well. Then Burgess said you have to come down south. We need a few more minutes, okay? What I will do is I'll just chop this for you. So let me get this. We've got a chopping knife, John. Does anybody want me to go through the recipe? I'd love to come down myself, okay? What I need is, is a kitchen down there. So I need somebody who's got a lovely, nice kitchen and we can use that. So if you know any cake shops that have classrooms, that would like me to come down there and do a demo for the nifty nozzles please let me know so we'll give this a nice cut so one second the one that we had this morning was because it was wrong you'll have to watch it anyhow because it was wrong it was wrong so here we go those people who saw it this morning will see that it wasn't cooked on the inside sorry maria do you want to see can you get that there yeah so that is really lovely a really sorry. nice texture this one this one this oh sorry let me go over here i've actually done door stops so these are quite big pieces can you see on that camera there yeah we've got problems with shadows have we yeah but not much we can do with that believe it or not today in the uk it's sun shining we can't believe it for february so all that snow and cold that we've had so can we can see it should i come over to this camera john John, mm -hmm. should I come over to this yep. camera? Okay, let me bring this up over here so you guys can see it without the shadows. Are we in view there? Can you see it okay? Yeah. 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 Look how lovely that is. It's a perfect consistency. I've got it right. So I'm well chuffed. So you've got to give this a go. And these taste amazing. They really do taste amazing. I've already had far too many. I'll just taste this one just so that you know. Let's check it right. Are you tasting some real? Oh, yes. Of course. Mm. Okay. Mm. You can taste the orange, that's really good. I say that so I'm surprised, but I think I'll shut up in a minute. I say that so I'm surprised. I think it's because I've just done blueberry, I completely forgot that it's orange. 
that tastes so good. It's lovely, so I hope you're gonna give that a go. Let me just see if these are ready yet. So, does any, anyone going to give it a go, John? Yes, a few people said they will. Is, how many people are back from this morning? I don't know, quite a few, some new piece. this morning we'll see that these have rose really well how lovely they are obviously I just ran out a bit of mixture for that one and um, these are lovely so once they've cooled down we'll be able to get these out of the pan I'll get them all on the board and we'll get a picture of them all together and we'll add it on to the end of the link okay so we back here so I hope you enjoyed coming back for those of you who watched me this morning I hope you enjoyed this session I am so sorry and all you people who didn't watch it this morning, I'm sure tonight you'll be on YouTube going through it. <laughs> okay, so thank you for joining me again. Have a super, super weekend. And I will see you on Monday, 8 o'clock p.m. with Gwen Powell with the DK applicator with all the lovely things that she's going to show you. See you then. Bye. <laughs> John's just getting used to his new system. <laughs> Are we going? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so welcome to Thursday morning in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Um, <laughs> John, can you tell me what you're doing? You're on there. Oh, <laughs> Got this action. <laughs> uh, so welcome to Thursday morning in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. So today we are baking free ams. It should be a really quick session this because that's all we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to tell you about free ams. Laura made them actually. In fairness, a blogger made them for us several years ago when we first started Sugar and Crumbs. And the blogger was called Joe Bakes, Jog Blogs Bakes. And uh, she made them and Laura had a go at them as well. Um, she used them using our blueberry flavour and we have made them with raspberry flavour and today I've made them with orange flavour because I've got one in the oven already. And they're absolutely delicious. It's like a meringue cake without being a meringue, but you'll understand in a minute. And it's really nice for people who don't like buttercream. They just like a sponge texture, really light sponge texture with some fresh fruit in. So before we get going, let's just shout out a few hellos. Okay. Pride is building, we're up to 45 people. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Susan Turrell, Claire Miller, Helen Price, Paula Flynn, Kat Riley, Marlon Heald, Jean Howard, Jackie Richards, Elaine Hollywell, Julie Crompton, Sarah Byway, Melanie Grant, Lynn Burgess, Sabrine. John, you're not very clear. <laughs> Am I not? Sorry. Sorry. It's going off in the distance. And apologies if we missed someone. And he's going someone. so fast as well. So if you can say I'm a bit slower, shout out so I can say hello. <laughs> and Adele's watching in work. She probably can't hear. So she'll, she'll have the sound off. Adele's watching in work. Yeah. Ooh, sneaky. Right. Okay. No worries. Right. Well, thank you for joining us on this Thursday morning. So what, like I said, we're going to make three hands. I am going to talk about a taster bundle that we've got on offer at the moment for £16 and we're going to use some of those flavours that are in that bundle plus another flavour. So at the moment I've already got one in the oven in a loaf tin and uh, I've never done it in a loaf tin before and I realised when I made it before um, at the very last minute and I had to use melted butter and it had to melt some butter and what I did is I chucked it in and didn't weigh it. So we don't know what it's going to look like, but let's get cracking anyhow. So very easy recipe, okay? So we have 100 grams 
and I'm going to put the, the recipes linked to the top of the to the our post. So we need 100 grams of plain flour, just going into the bowl. And Marie, you'll have to come around this side. 125 grams of um, ground almonds. We'll put those in the bowl. Really very easy. Just measure everything out. And then this one, we're going to make 100, uh, 250 grams of blueberry icing sugar. This is to, it is divine, honestly. If you if you you don't even have to like blueberries to like this. It's such a lovely flavour. And then we're going to get a palette knife. And all you're going to do is this is how easy it is. You can do this with the kids. So you could weigh everything out for the kids and just ask them to put it all in the bowl and stir it all in. That's how easy this recipe is. Okay. So you just mix all your ingredients in. Make sure they're all incorporated together. Sorry for my sniffing, but I don't know what it is. When I'm not live, uh, when I'm not live, when I'm just um, hosting in the kitchen, I'm just normal temperature. But as soon as I'm actually in front of you guys doing a demo, I actually flare up with heat. So we've got the back door open and look at me, I'm absolutely boiling. So, so that's all mixed in. And can you see that on that camera? Yeah, okay. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to weigh some eggs. So you need 100 mils of eggs and sorry I had some more flour in it before so I'll just wipe that out so I've already cracked some egg white so it's egg whites we need and we need 100 mils have we got it on mils yes I have so we need 100 mils and I have got a little bit of shell in it that I've got to catch I've just spotted it so John can you just pass me a spoon love has John just put his finger over the camera has he do it every week so anyhow so what I've done is I've actually cracked six eggs because I'm going to do this recipe twice and uh, well that's useless can't even, can't even catch it with a spoon just one second just one second so put that back on oh look at that that was perfect 100 mils let's do that trick again so then we're going to put this into the mixer Okay, and I'm not sure if you can hear that wind out there, it's really windy today. So let's put that on and then we're going to turn the mixer on. Now you've got to mix this like an egg white, right? you've got to get it nice, light and foamy. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this on for a moment. One second. I'm just going to turn this up, so we're not going to make this into a meringue, we're just making it nice and foamy. Just one second. So sorry, it take a couple of minutes there. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit higher. So is there any questions, John? Anybody want to ask? What a question. Um... Can you use the egg whites from the supermarket? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. I don't know if you can see in the mixing bowl there. Okay, so it's just a nice white foam. Now, I must admit, the one in the oven that I did before... So, which camera are we on? So the one in the oven that we did before, I probably mixed it a bit more than that. I probably mixed it more to a meringue consistency. So uh, you still need it. So it's just that nice foam. And then again, you pour this in, just into your mix. Are you over this bowl, John? Can you see this bowl very well? Mm -hmm. Just let me get John to move the camera again. Use your fingers over the camera again. Just one second. So we're just gonna pour that over. Get Can you run through the dry ingredients that are in the bowl? Yeah, I'm actually going to just, I'm going to actually go through everything with you shortly. So just let me just tell you about this first and then I'm actually going to run through the ingredients. Let me put these in and all we're going to do is, is fold this in. So you're not mixing it in, you are folding it in. Yeah? 
So you just fold it all in, so easy. Something that you can do with the kit and it smells gorgeous. So make sure it's all folded in. And then you need to have your melted butter. And I just need to remind myself how much melted butter it was. 160 grams of melted butter. So, here's one of these from my dry ingredients. Pop that on there. 160 mils of melted butter. Ooh, not got quite enough there, hang on. So I just need to melt some more. But while I'm doing that, I can go and prick my cake that's in the oven. So I think what I did before is I either didn't have enough butter because I actually just cut off half. So I actually think, and then I just threw it in the uh, Friands mix before. So let me just put this in. One second. Has anyone actually ever made Friands before? Tell me if you have. Laura normally does this recipe live, but as I got Laura here last week, I really couldn't ask her to do it again. John's just going to whack that in the microwave for maybe for about 20 seconds, John. And in the meantime, I'm just going to test what's in the oven. So, where's that skewer again? Oh, I didn't want it in one second. Sorry, I've disappeared off you guys. One second. Where's it going? Yeah. Oh, did you put it away? No. Oh, where did you put it? Okay, so let me just test this one again, one second. Alright, so this is cooked. And I am going to show you guys. I've done one in the loaf tin here, so I'm not sure what you can see. But let me just go back to that in a minute. So what we're going to do now is, while that's in the microwave melting, I'm going to put in the 140 grams of butter that we had here. And... So I'm glad I see it's not only me who blows everything up in the microwave. <laughs> uh, John was looking after my butter. <laughs> so you just fold this in as well, okay. So we had 147 grams at mills, I believe, and we need 160. So if you can pass me that, John. It's hot. Yeah, if you can pass me a couple of spoons, please. If you can pass me four spoons, that'd be great. So again, you just fold this in. Can you see it? Just fold it in nice and easy. So, a couple of spoons. And what we're going to do is, so is that 147? So, 147, 147 from 160 is 13. 13. Yeah. Hey, gosh, I can't believe I got it right today. You all know my mathematics is a nightmare. So, I'm is there just... a difference when the butter melted or hard? Does not make any difference? I don't the know. You know what? I don't know because obviously you're weighing in grams, and this is asked for mills, and I don't know if it's the same. Maybe somebody would be. could tell me it's the same. I don't know. So anyway, it has to be folded in, and this is how easy this recipe is. This is it. Look at this. So we're going to put this one in the oven in a minute. I'm going to actually get another one going as well with another flavour. I know you can't taste the flavours. So, what did you think of our emoji when we opened up? Did you like it? That is how it is in the kitchen here. Did you like it, John? <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is, I just need to nudge Maria out of the way a moment. So, this here, are we on this camera, John? Or this camera? Which camera? Please uh, tell me. So this is a free and pan, okay? This is a free and pan. As you can see, it's really nice and oval, but you can make free ands. Yeah, it's fine. You can't miss this in the camera. It's so big. Please <laughs> tell me, Maria. Maria is doing hand signals for me to move it. No, you can't whole, possibly. The whole thing isn't quite in. Right, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, you can't possibly miss this. So this is a genuine free and pan. You do not need one of these. There's always some sort of gadget for everybody to buy, isn't there? But if you like this lovely oval shape, which is what we're going to use, what we're going to use, then that's what we're going to use. But there's nothing stopping you 
making them in these little mini loaf tins, nothing at all. And we'll put a batch in there. And there's nothing stopping you putting them in here, okay? Now, you can either grease the tin, which is what we're gonna do today, or you can actually um, use cupcake cases. It's entirely up to you, okay? You won't get cupcake cases in here, so you'll have to grease the tin. You may be able to get little muffin cases for these, which actually I know you can. And obviously, as I say, cupcake cases, but personally, I like them without. So what we're going to do is, it does say grease the pan with butter, but we're actually gonna use our cake release. So we're just gonna spray inside each one. And then we're gonna put our mixture in. We're gonna get on with the next mixture. And this should make 12 portions. So let's just do this. There we go. Got a nice fog in the kitchen now. So if John wants to ask any questions, if you ask me about the recipe, as soon as I've done these, I'm actually gonna sit down and talk the recipe through with you and talk through the bundle deal as well. So just let me get these in. So you can see it's not a loose mixture. I'm just gonna pop those in. I've suddenly started the sniffles before I come on. So just another thing, anybody who's watching, do remember this is the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Okay, it's my own personal kitchen, mine and John's, and we just do demos in here for free for you. And uh, anything that's consumed in this kitchen is consumed by people who want to consume it, and they have no worries about me having nails or touching my hair or anything else. Do we really? And the boys at work always love it. So it's not for retail, we don't sell anything here. What was the spray you used? I used the cake release. So just let me put that in a moment and I'll go back to you. So I've only made 11 from this, but maybe I've been too generous. Let me just see. In fact, no, I'll put this last little bit in this last one here. Yeah. want to use every bit, don't we? So John, I put a clean bowl of water over there and I'd like you to wash up there and wrap it for me. Give John something to do. And if John can tell me which camera he's staying on now, why he washes the bowl for me? This one. This one? Okay. So, when you make the free hands, what you can do is you can leave them plain if you want to. Um, and I've got to be honest, those orange zest ones that I've just done for that loaf one smells delicious. Albeit I am looking at that orange loaf and I'm going to show you, I do think I've made a mistake. Or you can actually put raspberries or blueberries or another firm sort of fruit that will go in. Um, what we're going to do is just pop them in the side. These are quite big raspberries. so. I'll pop them in there. Maria, I've got another punnet of raspberries in the fridge. So we're just going to pop these in. These are massive raspberries. To be fair, John and I popped to the co-op last night and uh, we know we can always get blueberries from the co-op, but we wasn't sure about the raspberries. But these are probably the best raspberries I've seen. They're great. But and two pound a top. That's not bad. Little berry essence of raisins. Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry, no. What am I using? Blueberry ice and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but you can't smell we things in the kitchen, isn't it? <laughs> so the blueberries, is that, the blueberry ice and sugar has now got raspberries in, which means the raspberries going to have blueberries in. Okay, so do it the right way round. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> Always goes wrong live. <coughs> but you know what? We'll tell you how nice blueberries and raspberries taste. So I've got orange and raspberries over there. So I was too busy looking at how nice these raspberries are. And I'll have to give the co-op their due. These are absolutely super. So let's just put two in. Normally you can put three in. Normally we can get three raspberries in, but they're that big. Um, we can't today. So let me just get this one in the oven, okay? It'll take about 18 minutes. Thanks, Maria, for that. So we're in at 11.20. So I'm just gonna go through that recipe again for you guys, okay? So Kat just said she, wish, she said, I, I must wish I was still holding the camera so I don't have to wash up. <laughs> no, I'm glad I'm not holding the camera. As long so, as there's only one bowl to wash up. <laughs> so, let me just get the eggs on here again. So get my glass bowl in again. 
and we'll use the raspberry ripple with the blueberries. <laughs> so let's just do this. Okay, so just so go over it again because it's such a quick recipe. So just weigh out your ingredients. Somebody asked about the ingredients before. So we're now using 250 grams of raspberry ripple icing sugar, okay? Before we used 200 gra 250 grams of um, blueberry, and then 100 grams of ground almonds, and... What temperature is the oven, sorry? 180, which I'm not sure what that is on the gas mark, but it's 180. I've just used Sainsbury's own, okay? So one of them. And then 100 grams of plain flour, and today I've used McDougall's Plain. And then we're going to use the co-op eggs. Let's get rid of those out there. And let me just weigh my egg ingredients. And John's now finishing off the rest of the raspberries. They're not needed, they've gone in the blueberry yeah. free hand. <laughs> oh well, it's always nice to have a variation, isn't it? Good job we're not on smell vision yet. <laughs> So we wanted, um, how many eggs was it again? Egg whites. Mil. 250 mil it was. Oh. Do you know what? I think I only put 100ml in the last ones, didn't I? It's a good job we're doing this twice. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get Laura here doing this. What have you done, John? Have you just disconnected us? No. No. <laughs> it's related to you not putting the right amount of egg white in. John's having a meltdown. <laughs> Let me crack some more eggs. So, you know what? I think we've now got one with not enough butter in. I think we've got them in there without enough egg, egg white in. So there's 125 mils here. Oh dear. It's a good job I'm doing this twice. I'm having a bad day. I thought I was so organized. Do you know what it is here, and anybody who's worked in Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen, there's that much that goes on in here with people in and out, the dog walker, the gardener, getting ready, being at Sugar and Crumbs at early in the morning, getting the ingredients. I shouldn't make excuses, but it is me, it's not the tools. Joe said you're not alone, Carol, going off plan. Unfortunately, Joe, there isn't a plan to go off. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Well, you know what this shows you, how easy this recipe is, is if you cock it up, you can easily do it again. So I really do think I haven't put enough egg white in either of the recipes. So we're going to have a look. Good job they don't take long to make because we're actually going to have a look at... Right. There we go. So it's 250 mils of egg white. I've just got slightly too much in here. Can I have some clean spoon, John? Third time lucky. Okay. Third time lucky. I don't know what I was thinking before. I actually don't even know what I put in the last recipe. That's so bad. Do you think it was 100? Oh, God. Who was paying attention, apart from Maria and John? There you go, that's why we do it live, guys. Because you know what, when you do it live, you can't, if you muck up, everybody gets to see. So let's put this in the glass mixing bowl. John's now just disappeared with my recipe, so I really know what I'm doing now. So. You know, we've just been asked about the egg white. It was 250 milliliters of egg white. Yeah. So, so what, what is in the bowl at the minute is 250 grams of the flavoured icing sugar, 125 grams of the ground almonds, 100 grams of plain flour, 160 grams of melted butter, and then there's some fresh blueberries to go on top, or raspberries now. Blueberries, on top of the raspberry ripple. Just yeah, because you, you, you did say 100 in the last one because Sarah has written it down. <laughs> So sorry, you'll just have to score that out. It's not a hundred, it's two fifty. We will soon see if a hundred works. Well, you know what, guys? We've got three variations. We've got one with not enough butter and not enough egg. 
We've got one with definitely not enough egg white and one now with all the correct ingredients. So if you do it three times, you'll get it right. But you have to go for the fourth time to make sure you get the right icing sugar with the right fruit. The fruit, that doesn't make lots of it. So I'm going to slap Maria for telling me. She should have said anything. Yeah, Lynn says, don't worry, she bakes. The family have a choice, eat it or not. Good, I like that idea. And they, all, and they always eat them. <laughs> and let me tell you now, they always eat it here. I think Jean says the same. She's put an egg, I uh, put a cake in the oven without putting the eggs in. Comes with age, she says. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we're on the same age. Do you know the funniest thing is, there's a lovely lady I know who showed me, um, I went to a class of hers and uh, up in Derbyshire and uh, she's a fantastic baker and this is going back many years ago um, I think it's way back 2014 and then she put a post on there Facebook and she'd done this big wedding cake put it all in the pans ready put it all in the pans ready and then walked across with the pan to the oven and had completely forgot to put the loose bottom in somehow she'd lined it with paper the grease proof and just walked off but she um, just walked off with it but she had black baking pans and a black work top walked off with it so as she walked off with it then the whole mix went straight through the pan so uh, we all do it don't we so I don't know what we've got here but anyhow the one thing that we have got is is John clearing up my kitchen in front of me here he's just moving all the bits so as I say we're folding these here so we think this one third time go a third time is ready so I'm just going to give them another mix If Anna Laura is watching this, she'll be laughing her head off because she does these for me all the time. But she can only come on um, sugar and crumbs once a month. And um, obviously I nicked her last week. And uh, with having baby Harrison, it's getting somebody to look after the baby. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pour the egg white in. This is looking more like it. This is looking more like it. I'm so glad I prepared this three times. You know what? He must have known up there. So uh, he must have known up there I was going to muck up today. Yeah, Jackie says the ones that are wrong are probably going to be more biscuity and less yeah. like sponge. Well, I've got to be honest. I was thinking that when I pulled that one out of the loaf. But you know what? We can have a look at all the textures when they come out of the oven in a minute. Oh, okay. we've now got three recipes in one. Eh? So what time did I put those in the oven, John? No idea. Does anybody know? It's 20 past. It was 20 past and they take 18 minutes. So you're just going to fold these in. This is looking more like it. So we're on, we're on, we're on the ball now, guys. So I'm going to fold all this in. Fold the egg white in. Is that Jackie Heaton? Is it? Nope. No, nope. no. It was Jackie Richards, I think. Jackie Richards. So any of you newbies are here. Shout out to <coughs> newbies, okay? So any of you newbies, let, let me just tell you what it is about sugar and crumbs, okay? I am a hobby baker. Okay, not a professional baker at all. I'm a hobby baker, and what I do is I just try different, just different recipes using our flavoured icing sugars. So all I'm doing is changing the recipe. Instead of using granulated sugar or caster sugar, I'm just changing the recipe to include our flavoured icing sugars. And also by changing it, you don't need to add any flavoring whatsoever because the icing sugar is already flavored. So that's what we do. And because I'm a hobby baker, the professionals, I always say close your eyes now because you know I do things in the kitchen that you may not agree with. So, um, and the other thing is I'm actually trying to encourage people who are sat at home, or well not sat at home, but who would really like to bake, but they're scared of baking because they feel that it has to be perfect. And I just want to show them it doesn't. You know what, just give it a go. Give it a go, let's have a play. And if you make a mistake, just don't do it live. Yep. We've got a new, <laughs> one, one newbie called Hayley. <laughs> so hello Hayley. <laughs> so let us know where you are Hayley and if any of the other guys are brave enough. So what we've done now is, we've done that. We've got the melted butter. So everything's all incorporated. Can you see that John? Yeah, so we can see this is a lot softer mix. I should have realized when I did that other mix that it was feeling a bit firm. Anyhow, I'm sure Maria is gonna be tasting them. I've been a really good girl this week. 
and I've kept to my diet. So I've come up with a new idea for my diet. Diet, it's great, it really does work, and it's called gaffer tape. <laughs> Put it over my mouth, a little hole for a straw with water, and, uh, and I let Maria become my chief taster. Have we got a picture of Maria? Did you put that Maria? Did no. you not do it? I do it not. <laughs> do we feel it smells blueberry, so I might was wrong. No, I don't think you're wrong. Haley's from East Sussex. Oh, hello. East Sussex, very good. Well, let me just tell you guys who are watching, and those of you who are not say, saying hello, because I know lots of you don't actually comment. Okay, you're all over, you come from all over, which is fabulous. Um, which is fabulous. We're just up here in Stockport, but I do know that we have followers all around the world that come over and watch us. We do a session on a Monday, and on a Monday night, I try to get in a professional person, if I can, or somebody to demonstrate their products. If I haven't got one of those in, then I do demos on the Russian piping tips, the genuine Russian piping tips, not the Chinese copies, the ones that Alexander, my business partner, designed, okay, and the ones that my daughter, Laura, designed. All the ones with the patents, the really nice ones. If you want to ask me about Chinese copies, I can't comment on those. So, um, but I do do some really nice designs with the original ones, okay? So we do demos on them. And then on a Thursday, we want to try and keep it baking related so that we can do a little recipe on a Thursday morning for you all to give it a go. Now this is looking like the mix. I think we've got it. Third time lucky. I think we've got it. <coughs> smells good. <laughs> smells good, smells good, smells good. I think, you're right, I think that is blueberry. We've got raspberry in there, but I just said blueberry by mistake. Yes. I think that's what I've done. Lost my cloth. John, can you pass me a clean cloth, please? Thank you. Let's wipe up. And if you can put all those other things in the dish, what should be missing? Right, so let's get another tin. Let's move my eggs out of the way. My pan, are we on the right one, John? Which, which one do I need to be on? Can you see on there? Yep. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna spray those, and I'm spraying this with Kate Star Cake Release. Now you can use melted butter, okay? You don't have to use this. And I'm going to do a couple of loaf ones as well. So let's do these little mini loaves as well. And then even though we've done two wrong recipes, at least we can see all the different shapes. So let's get these done. And then what I'm gonna do is, while they're in the oven, I'm gonna sit down and talk to you about future guests coming on and the bundle deal that we've got on. We've got another newbie, M Mabashra from Edinburgh. So, right. hello. I think I saw Mabashra. I think she was uh, watching on Monday, I think, was she? Uh, we've got somebody uh, with a very similar name. So John, have we got a little, um, have we got a little, just one second guys. I just need something that I can pour this with. Just let me see what I've got in my drawers at the moment that I can scoop this in with. Just a little ladle thing. We do have a small like ladle, don't we? Where is it? Right, just one second. I'll use this big spoon. We have a lovely little ladle that John made homemade chicken soup the other night. Well, last night actually, and uh, it's in the soup. So we're just gonna use this really big dessert spoon here. This is far better. This is, this is the recipe that I see Laura make. Now, these are amazing when they come out of the oven. Okay, <coughs> they are. John likes these, because he's not a fan of buttercream, as you all know. And when these are hot, they're nice when they're cold, but boy, they're nice when they're hot. They just melt in your mouth. So, John, I have another punnet of raspberries in the fridge. So I'm going to put the blueberries in two of these. There we go. Did you not, did you not buy me two punnets of raspberries? No. Why not? Just one punnet did he buy? Oh well. These are all gonna have raspberries in them. More blueberries. Pardon? 
No, I don't need any more blueberries. Right, John, they can go in the bottom of the oven, up on that bottom shelf there. And we'll have a look at those. So then let's try this pan here. This is far better. I'm calming down now. My heat's gone off. Oh, yes, my basher says. Was she watching on Monday? Yes, been there watching for the last few weeks and been ah. hooked. I was going to say because she asked a question on Monday and I remember answering it. So it's any more questions? Well, we'll, we'll go through them. Joe has said, just remember the guy who forgot to put butter in his pastry, added, <laughs> added it at the end, and now we have flaky pastry. <laughs> right. So, is it? <laughs> we could have the next big thing. <laughs> Is that how it worked, is it? Right, okay, I didn't spray these three because I don't think free they're Free on biscuits could be the way forward. I'm just covering this up because I didn't spray these last three things because I didn't think we'd have enough after I'd done those little mini muffins that we have. So there we go. So now I know what Laura does. This is looking much, much like the recipe that she makes. The problem is, is that I like to do it live and I like to do it the first time because then you see everything that I do and then we can sort of correct problems as we go along. If I come on with everything all pre-made and done and trial and tested, well, I don't think it's quite as good really. So it's all, the, the other thing is you lot have got to do it first time round as well. So you know what, let's overcome these hurdles straight away. Right, I think we're there, that can go there. And um, can you pass me the kitchen roll, John, please? I can go in the bin. Let's get rid of all the rubbish. What we're going to do is quickly clean up. Just clean this up. So quite at least we'll a, have quite different Quite a few shades. people have told us where, the, where they are. Everybody seems to be in the UK at the moment. That's good. Good, good, good. Right, just no. one second. Nobody from America at the minute, but that's obviously due to the time difference. And being in bed. Right, just one second, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down with you guys in a minute and say some hellos and ask out where you all are. So let's put these blueberries on. That's so John, I think they're due to come out. Let's just taste them. Uh, taste them. Can you test them for me? Can you stick that in? See, wipe the end and see, make sure it's clean. So... Which camera are we on, John? This one. This one? Okay. Otherwise. So anybody who's new who doesn't know about Maria, Maria actually comes and puts all the little mini videos together, okay? So what she does is, she's in the kitchen, and some people wonder why she's running around with a little iPhone, but it's because when we, afterwards, she um, makes little mini videos that you all see later on in the week. And she speeds the whole process up because not everybody wants to watch an hour of this. So, are they done in the oven? Not done yet? Okay, so what we're going to do is... I think I have another shelf in there. So, can we put these in the oven? Right. I'm just going to put them in there. They're not quite ready yet. So we're on 180 in the oven. Just one second, let's have a clear up. And then let's talk to you about a couple of things. So how wet are they, John? Because I've, I've not tested them myself. How wet are they? Great. Perfect. <coughs> let's have a look. Let me get rid of all this rubbish here. Let me get all that out of the way. Now oh, there's the skewer, the original one. I don't need to put anything in the bridge mode. I'll just move everything over the way over there. So one second. I'll talk to you about this as well. And could I have a clean cloth? Can you just wash it out for me? John, anybody? Sorry? Wash the cloth for me, please. Just one second. So we have got quite a few things in the oven because I because I thought we'd get things done at one at a time. Are we ready with the clock, Maya? Because I thought things would cook and be ready. I thought we'd be able to get a few things out for you. So one second. Let me just clean here. And then we'll take a seat and go through the recipe with you. 
and make sure you've got it all right while we wait for these to come out. Oh, we do. We do have Tanya from the US. Oh, do we? Yes. An early bird. Very early bird. bird. Or very late. Yeah. What time is it over there, Tanya? Yeah. Well, probably anywhere from five in the morning till midnight last night. No. Okay. One in the morning, probably. Yeah. Depends whether she's in Vegas or LA or something, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Okay, then. So let's tell you what we've been doing today. We've been making free hams, and you can make them with any flavoured ice and sugar that you want. The ones that we finished with are the blueberry free hams, okay? Maria said that she thought it was raspberry ripple, but we don't know. We'll taste them after and let you know. So, <laughs> the best thing that Maria could have done is just said nothing. It would have been easier. So, <laughs> pleasure to go in live. Anyhow, so let's go through the recipe. And let's tell you all you newbies, let's tell you what sugar and crumbs is all about, okay? So Sugar and Crumbs is a flavoured icing sugar company. It's a company that John and I own, and we actually manufacture all these delicious flavours. We've got about 36 flavours on the website at the moment, okay? And um, we... <coughs> John's just having a little coughing thing. So, and um, the flavours are really, really tasty, and they're becoming really, really well known. Um, you can use them to substitute... What you do is you replace them for any sugar in your recipe. So if you are making a cake mix, and it says six ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces of sugar, then you can use the flavored icing sugar. That will make you a much lighter sponge and give you a really nice flavor. If you have been making meringues, you can use half icing sugar, half caster sugar, or you can use all the whole, ice, all the whole sugar, um, all of it in then icing sugar. It really is down to your uh, preference. You can use it for royal icing. You can use it in the free hams that we've just made. You can use it to make your macarons. You can use it to make cheesecake, buttercream. You can add it to your cream. So if you like fresh cream, you can actually add a couple of tablespoons to your fresh cream to give you fresh cream and flavor. It's really very nice. And it's really nice to add to plain yogurt as well. Just add a spoonful to plain yogurt, flavor up your plain yogurt. If you want to make a milkshake with it, you can make a milkshake. Add a couple of tablespoons to your milkshake put it in the blender, you can actually add the flavoured icing sugars to anything. The flavoured icing sugars are all natural, that means that we use all natural ingredients, okay? Therefore they're suitable for a halal diet, they're gluten free, they're dairy free, and people, some people know this already, but icing sugar is gluten free and dairy free, okay? But our flavourings are the same, okay? So just to let you know that, we do put it on the bag. So it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans because ice and sugar has never yet met meat. And um, I just thought I'd tell you a little bit more about them. So we have a great taster bundle on offer at the moment. Our ice and sugars used to be £3.49 a bag. We brought them down to £2.99 and some of them we've brought down to £2.75. The reason we brought those down to that price is there's some of them are flavours that we want to discontinue while we bring in new flavours. There's some flavours there that we feel that you should try, so we're giving you a price incentive to try them. And then we've done this bundle deal, which is eight flavours for £16, which is £2 a bag. And in there, you get pineapple. So let me tell you about the pineapple. The pineapple will not make meringues or macarons, okay? There's something about the enzymes of pineapple that doesn't work. I have tried. I've had one successful batch and never had a successful batch since, so I think it was a fluke okay um, or maybe I was just happy with the way that they were but last week um, I was talking about the pineapple flavor and I had loads of messages of people explaining to me about the enzymes of pineapple and why it wouldn't work so I appreciate that off everybody and then we have Turkish Delight in the bundle which is amazing so for you guys who saw us make marshmallows the other week and Ryan made a chocolate fondant on Monday um, again, an amazing flavour. It's delicious. It's lovely for sweets, desserts and syrups. You can make a syrup with it. The key lime, beautiful for anything. It's beautiful as a, just as a water icing topping, as a cheesecake. Makes a gorgeous cheesecake. It's beautiful for um, just the buttercreams. <laughs> They're so funny watching these two in the, in the kitchen here. So you can use any of the flavours for anything, but I'm just telling you what's in this bundle. Then you've got a gorgeous gingerbread flavour, which is fabulous as well. Um, I'm going to have a little play with this recipe. 
because we've got ginger, it's great for the winter. A lot of people always make gingerbread biscuits and you can use this for it. So it does work in your cookies, in your cookie dough, your shortbread biscuits. And I'm going to have a play with it and see if I can make ginger beer with it. So I'm gonna have a go with that, a non-alcoholic ginger beer. So I'm gonna have a play with the flavoring and see if we can do that, bring that out as a new flavor. Can't guarantee yet, but we'll give it a go. We've got orange zest. Now I have made an orange zest loaf free and, and uh, I have completely mucked it up, but we're gonna cut it up in a minute. We'll have a look at it because I don't think I put the right amount of butter or eggs in, if I'm honest. In fact, I think that whole recipe was completely wrong. And we have the blueberry, which is what we've used today which is in the bundle and this is divine not just for the free hands it's great if you want to make those really nice big muffin cakes so those lovely big muffins that you make blueberry muffins make those replace the sugar with this drop in a few uh, blueberries in in the actual muffin mix drop a few on top they're amazing um sherbet the kids love this one they love all of them actually sherbet flavor is in the bundle and then we've got banana split so that's eight flavours there and the banana split, somebody put on our page today that she'd made banana split um, marshmallows. She'd done the same mistake as me, she thought she'd picked up the raspberry ripple. Not quite sure how she got it wrong, raspberry ripple's in a pink bag and this is in a yellow bag. But having said that, she ended up making banana split marshmallows and she said they were to die for, so that was great. So that's the eight bags of sugars. They're on our website, the link is there. So if you wanna do that taster bundle, get them now, it works out two pound a bag, and it's called the eight taster bundle, okay? And I know loads of you have these. We must be packing these all day long. We're flying through them. So that's a really good deal for those. Yeah. And then, on Monday when Ryan was here, I'm so pleased that you all popped over to watch Ryan. Did you like him? Maybe John will come back and answer that question in a moment when he's finished coughing. So, <laughs> so what did you think of Ryan coming over to the kitchen? He was nervous, God bless him. And um, also he had to work with his mother all day, which I'm going, why? Why would you do that? And I wanted him to make a crepe cake with 20 layers or 25 layers. He's going, mum, don't be so ridiculous. You don't want it that high. It's big enough. I will tell you that Maria took home the three slices that we cut and ate all three. And look how skinny whippy she is to me who's had none and uh, anyhow so but while I was talking to you on Monday these with these whisks that we've got here I don't know if any of you do it but I put these in the dishwasher and um, and I've noticed that when I use them again they're really black and I have a really black mark on my fingers so um, Ryan was like, Mum, what have you done with these? You need to throw them in the bin. He said, or oh, Google them and find out a way of cleaning them. So I found out a way of cleaning them and saving them. So any of you who've got those um, paddle beaters from your mixer that you've got to put in the dishwasher and suddenly it's always black on your fingers and making your batter black, then what you need to do is a big large pan of boiling water, bring it to the boil, drop in big pan, drop in half a bottle of uh, white vinegar, and then sit these in bring them to the boil and then let them simmer for 20 minutes, take them out, give them a brush with a toothbrush and if they're not clean, pop them back in again until they're clean. And these have cleaned up really nicely and now I've just got to remember, and there's no black marks coming off on my fingers now, in fact there's a little bit, if I, it's just a little bit on the inside there, um, so these have got to go in again, but they are like... 95% better than what they were. So I'll give these a little boil again. So if any of you have done that, that's great. Uh, I'm now telling you how to clean them up. That's not great. <laughs> telling you how to clean them up. So any questions, John? Uh, no comments then. Thanks. Thanks for Ryan coming on Monday. He did great. So the feed is always running behind. It's 30 seconds behind. Maybe John should have a look at his phone. Yeah, quite a few of the, co the comments have been answered. Laura's obviously in the office answering. Ah, right, yes, forgot. Laura's in the office. She's answering from the office today. So well done to Laura. Um, right, so let's go through the recipe again. So do you want to just check those top ones for me, John? And then we'll have a look at this one as well. Need a skewer. So this is the one we did wrong. So before we go through the recipe, let's just see if we are going to get this out. Yeah, this is definitely wrong. Did you feel the thud? There you go. I think so. Do you want to stick them on there? Go for it. Just stick these in. Well, they're looking good anyhow, but I think 
I think whoever said they're going to be like a biscuit flavour, they're going to be right, yeah, yeah. They're done. Okay, so have we got, um, so my display thing. Chainsaw. My display, chainsaw. My display board, John has kindly gone and sat the camera on it, so I can't use that now. So let me just use this one. A moment. Use this one. Very nice. Yeah. You got any more questions? So as we can see, this one is definitely wrong. I don't even know what to put in this recipe. That's how bad that is, isn't it? I can't even remember. I don't. So I just had a question, Lisa. Sorry, I think we must have missed it before. Um, is there anything that you can use the egg yolks for? For? Well, yes, there is. But uh, you can make an egg custard with them, which is really very good, or a lemon curd, I believe. Um, but I haven't made that myself yet, so I've had to throw away my egg yolks. I would Google on Google recipes with just egg yolk, and I'm sure they're going to come up with loads of things. All the people who are watching at the moment will be able to come up with, uh, will be able to tell you what you can use with them. So uh, I think whoever said this is going to be like a biscuit, I think they're absolutely right. Okay, this is very solid, but we're going to cut it anyhow because I want to wait for those to come out the oven as well. And John, can I just ask you, can you just move the other ones to the top, please? I put them on the bottom. And I just need to get them on the top. I only turned one oven on today, so we're sharing the oven space. Thank you, just push it in straight. Thank you. Right, so let's cut this one. So, Marie, you are not going to do one minute videos of this, please tell me. Can you believe it? She's going to do me a one minute video on how not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> So let's cut this and see what the density of this is like. So I'm going to cut them into nice big chunks. And I don't think it's actually cooked through, actually. No, I don't think it's quite cooked through. Who told me this was cooked? I didn't take that one out. Did I take that out? Yeah. Well, there you go. It's not cooked through either. So look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think probably why it's not cooked through. I don't know. I know they are meant to be moist, it, but they're not meant to be moist that moist. No, they're not cooked through. But this is the recipe that was wrong. Okay. So what we'll do is we're going to talk through the correct recipe, which was batch number three. Yeah. So how many of you are laughing your heads off at the moment? Feel free to laugh. I really don't mind. As you know, I'm a hobby baker. It's all about doing it live for you guys and showing you how it is. So, but I'd already said that this recipe was wrong and this recipe I definitely know did not have enough egg. For some reason I got it into my mind, it was 125 grams of egg and 100 mils of butter. I don't know what I was doing, but uh, so this one's completely wrong. So if you get one like this, you've done the same as me. So let's go through the recipe, yeah? So the recipe is, pop this on my head, okay? We need 250 grams of flavoured icing sugar. Okay, you can use plain icing sugar if you want and use um, an essence, but the whole idea is about getting the really nice aroma of using these. 125 grams of ground almonds, 100 grams of plain flour, 160 grams of melted butter, 100 grams of fresh blueberries, but I don't think that really matters about weighing those, and 250 mils of egg whites. And I think what I've done is, um, John's printed off the recipe at work today and brought it home, and I was reading off my iPhone before, and I think I've just got my eyes all over the place, not very good. So, going through the recipe again, you weigh out your dry ingredients. So your dry ingredients is 100 grams of ground almonds, uh, 125 grams of ground almonds, 100 grams of plain flour, okay, and your 250 grams of flavoured icing sugar. You put that in a bowl and you mix it all together. You do your 250 mils of egg white and you mix that so it's just nice and foamy. Not so it's stiff peak or anything from around, just until it's nice and foamy. When it's nice and foamy, you then pour it into the bowl, you fold it all in, incorporating it all. And once it's all folded in, you then add your 160 mils of melted butter. And when you add that in, you fold the whole lot in and you get the third batch, which is a really lovely mix, okay? And that should be your perfect mix. So let's get the number two batch. So have you got a tea towel you can hand me somebody? So number one batch is going in the bin. Cock up number one. <laughs> and then we've got number two here. It's hot. 
Now these look good, but they are biscuity, okay? So, Maria, can you pass me just two knives, please? Because I don't think these have little pop-ups. So, let's get these out of the way. Put that over there. And is there any other questions, Sean? What have you passed out here over here? So it's over the way. Yeah. Well, I was just going to show them all of them together. Does that matter? No? Okay. Just got to get it all off there, that's all. Just one second. So let's get this on here. So this is number two. Just, they're quite hot still, so let's just see if we can get these out. And some of you are going to cry at me if they're sticking my knife in my lovely pan here. We've got a few ideas for what to do with the egg yolks. Oh yeah? Well, don't, please don't ask me to make them. No. Nope. Lynn said her dog loves scrambled egg. Oh yeah, so does mine. My and Kelvin like said chop, mix the yolks with chopped bell peppers, parsley and a splash of milk. And put them in a muffin, t muffin tin and bake. Instant breakfast on the go. Yeah, who said that? Kelda. Oh right, that's good, isn't it? And you can it? add a piece of bacon as well if you wish. Yeah. Don't think these have been cooked really well, have they? Right guys, I don't think these have been cooked through. No, they're not. In fact, I don't know whether they're not coming out because they've not been cooked through or they're not coming out because they're not the right recipe. So, should we have a look at batch number three? See how they're doing? Oh, they taste good though. They taste really good. <laughs> they do taste really good. I think we'll wait till they're cool before we get those out. For one second. And how's batch number three? I feel like a total disaster today. I have to tell you, it's really embarrassing this session. I feel I should have closed the whole session down and started again. One second. It's on days like, like this that you want the decorator to pull the plug on the Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have to wait patiently. So, does anybody want to ask me any questions? Sorry, if anybody didn't understand that last week or the week before, we got. Uh, our session ended by the decorator upstairs who decided to unplug our Wi-Fi. We could have done with them doing it again today. We just waited a couple of more minutes for them. I've already felt them and they've lifted out the pan just by me flicking them. So I think these are not lifting out the pan because there's just not the right ingredients. So. Um, well, they do taste nice though. I think we'll have to have these. And Can you use egg white powder? I wouldn't have thought so. I don't know. I don't know. Give it a try. Let me know. We'll see if these come out this way. Just going to see if they fall out by themselves. <clears throat> I did use spray release as well. Oh, these bad boys are not coming out. Oh, wait a minute. Couple are. Just one second. I think maybe the one guy loosened up before. The question, can you go through nozzle deals? Go through the nozzle deals? I'm not sure we know off the top of our head of no. them, to be honest. We've reduced all the nozzles, by the way, okay? Alexander has been able to start manufacturing them a little bit cheaper. Um, let me just tell you about the nozzles, okay? What's the difference between the Chinese ones, the copies and the genuine ones? Um, it's always nice to respect the designer and Alexander is the original designer. He's based in Russia and um, he came up with the idea, well actually his wife came up with the idea and uh, between him and his wife and um, they then put it all together and started making these fabulous nozzles and the world went absolutely crazy. Um, as per usual, Chinese at China copies everything and they make good variations and bad variations. They also use not great, great steel all the time. The ones that you get are called nifty nozzles that are genuine Russian piping tips. Um, and they have really nice laser cuts. They've got really nice proper cuts 
You'll find that some of them from China are really very, very thin and tight. And then people say to me that they don't work. And unfortunately they don't work because um, China has gone a bit crazy and just put all these little slits everywhere. And it's very difficult to squeeze buttercream through them. Um, I've seen now that they're actually doing nozzles with like pictures of handbags on and I love you and all that. You might wonder why we've not done that. It's because they don't work. And, um, and, um, and it's always good to respect the, the, the actual original designer. The bundles that we've got on at the moment, I can't really show you, but Laura can um, answer those questions. She's actually live as well at the moment. Mainly I can't answer because my phone is here videoing at the moment, doing the Facebook Live. So I can't actually tell you anything, but we do have plenty of deals on at the moment. So just let me see if these are ready. So we're on batch three, the correct batch. Yeah. And these are done. Someone asked what bra brand of ovens they are. They're Bosch. Sorry, that, que that question did come, back, come in a little while ago when I. Can you take those out. cakes off there, please? So just let me get those on there a minute. really very happy we've got these out and you can see these are done straight away as soon as I go to look there so the other ones there I can't even get out the pan and look how lovely they are so let's just tip these out onto the, onto the bacon tray a moment so I'm pleased we've got one batch ready so uh, who how many of you are like me when you try something and uh, they don't always come out right the first time so let's just lift these out these are so lovely and light. Maria's going to love these, and I must admit, I am going to break my diet and have one sneaky one because they are so nice. And I really do hope you give them a try. But follow the recipe. It's such a simple recipe. I can't believe I mucked it up twice. But that's through not reading the instructions. So these are just straight out of the muffin tin. Okay, and then these are in the little loaf tin and look how easy they come out. So it does show it was down to the recipe, yeah. Ooh. Could have been worse, right? Because we could have had three disasters, couldn't we? So uh, at least I can laugh about it. I think John's shaking his head and bashing himself at the moment. But at least I can work. Thank you, Maria. And Maria will not be doing any videos of the mistakes. <laughs> As I shoved her out the way before. So, let's have a look at these. We'll cut these in a moment. And these are gorgeous. As I say, they're so nice to eat. Just, they're just so nice to eat fresh, straight out the oven. So let's put those on there. Has anybody ever made these before? Anybody made them before? And have we got a clean knife over there? Can we just put that one back? Over there behind John, please. Got a question, John? Yep. Look at that for a knife to cut these big things. Anyhow, so there we go. Now these are lovely. They are cooked. You can see that nice spongy. They're cooked. So they are, lesson learned guys, correct recipe, cooked beautifully. Got a question, you put them straight on the board, won't yeah. they sweat underneath? Probably, but... Is there a reason you don't put them on a cooling rack? The reason I've not put them on the cooling rack is simply because I've done three batches, okay, two of them are wrong, I'm waiting for time and I just wanted to show you now, but as fast as, it, as, fast as this live finishes, they will be going on a cooling rack. In fact, we can put them on the cooling rack now. So the only reason is, is that I wanted to get them out of the oven, Get them on here, let you see what they look like straight away. We got everything else wrong, we weren't going to get, get this bit right, were we? <laughs> you just knew somebody would have to ask, wouldn't you? <laughs> Are you going to taste one, Maria? Okay. Go on then, grab one. Okay, I'm going to grab this. Oh, oh, you're going to not show everybody how greedy really you can shy. be. <laughs> so, any more questions of anybody nope. today? Alright then, so what we're talking about today is it was doing the eight taster bundle. 
we have done orange zest free ends, mistake number one. Okay, so I have made mistakes and that's one of the good things about going live. So don't try to wing it. I didn't read the recipe properly and I think that's because I read it off my phone. I clearly didn't see what I was writing. Um, the second one, I actually didn't put enough egg white in. So the first one definitely didn't have enough butter and enough egg white. The second one is here and I'm waiting for these to come out of the tin and they're still not coming out of the tin. The only ones that are coming out of the tin are the ones that I've dug at before. So, um, but they do taste nice then. So those are the ones that I dug at before, but they do taste yummy and they are cooked, but they're not coming out of the tin. And I think that's because they're more like a biscuit. So whoever said that, they'd be more of a biscuit. I can see. Can you see on this camera? Is it this camera? Mm -hmm. it's, it is a biscuit texture as opposed to this lovely light texture here. But they do taste good. Mm -hmm. mm, they do taste good. It's blueberry. Right, okay then, no worries. <laughs> so um, you can make these with any flavour that you want. We've done them, are we back on this camera, John? So we're back, we've made these with blueberries and all I want to do is tell you about Monday. Mon uh, Monday we've got Gwen Powell here. She's actually going to be showing you the DK applicator. And those of you who don't know what the DK applicator, it's a great little machine for putting pearls size 4M and 5M onto your cakes and she's going to come up and answer lots of questions um, because a lot of you guys are having a great time with the DK applicator making some amazing their cakes we've seen them they're coming through all the time but a few of you are having issues and we want to show you what those issues are like everything with a new tool you have to learn how to use it you won't be able to just pick it up and start making beautiful design cakes it's something you have to learn you need to learn about the consistency of sugar paste I don't try putting the pearls on when the sugar paste is rock hard. It still needs to be fresh and soft. You need how to hold the DK applicator. You need to know which pearls to put in. And Gwen is going to go through all that with you on Monday. She's going to do a couple of little designs of sell for you. So just quickies. So, so the hobby baker, if they want to have a play with it, it's an amazing tool. It's a tool that her niece has designed. It's gone worldwide crazy. It's absolutely fabulous. And we're pleased to be the UK distributor for it. So that's the DK applicator. Gwen will be here. There's no Facebook Live next Thursday. I'm not here next Thursday, unfortunately for you, or maybe after today's session. Lucky for you, I have to be somewhere next Thursday. But I will be here the following Monday, and I can't remember who's on on the following Monday. What date is it then? I do know, it's Natalie Porter. Yes. So we've got Gwen with the DK applicator next week and we've got Natalie Porter the following Monday with her amazing rapid rose. That is amazing. She's doing a one-off bundle for sugar and crumbs. You'll only be able to buy it in those 24 hours. It's not a product we're going to stock. She's going to do a bundle deal live so that you can buy it on the night. So be prepared, but it will be a one-off deal only just for us here at Sugar and Crumbs. And once we've sold that batch, it's gone and we won't be we won't be stocking it and then we've got rob and jackie uh, from twitter baker long they're coming along i think it is on the first of march is it yeah okay. they're here uh, we've also in march we've got zoe fancy cakes here coming along we've got marion from patchwork cutters and um, we have sue pinnick as well who's going to be doing demos on patchwork cutters and then for all of you on the 25th of february if you can make it I'm doing a demo, 25th of okay. February, I am doing a demo at Inglewood Manor, Manor with Marion at Patchwork Cutters. It's a whole day event, it's £68, it's a fabulous day, you get a coffee and a biscuit when you arrive, coffee and biscuit um, uh, Levenses, you get a two course lunch, you get coffee and biscuits in the afternoon, you go home with a goodie bag, There's a, we're doing a discount for everybody who's there so they can buy any of our products are there. We're doing buttercream tasters. We've got the, all the genuine Russian nozzles with us. Marion will have hers there. Go over to the Patchwork Cutters site and book there. It's at the Inglewood Manor on the 25th of February. And I will be there all day to answer your questions. And I'm doing demos and I've got some fabulous displays that I'm going to show you that I'm not going to show you on the lives because I'm going to save them for them. We also do classes as well. People keep asking me about the classes. We do nifty nozzles classes. 
and they are 99 pounds they're live on the website I'm based in Stockport come and join me on them I've got classes in March I've got one class left available I've got classes in May I've not booked any further classes yet and I'm seriously thinking about doing some half day classes because I know a few people have asked will I do a half day class if I can get enough people interested in those um, message me I've got a couple of dates in mind where I'm happy to do a half day class for 65 pounds okay so from me um, it's a goodbye for the weekend thank you John and Maria for being my assistants today and laughing their heads up at my mess I hope I haven't upset any of you there with my uh, muck-ups how are they feeling about it John I have to say they taste good then don't they yeah, no no everybody's enjoyed the day enjoyed the session have you enjoyed lost, it really it's been a laugh yeah, haven't they yeah good you are gonna have one these are your favorite seeds aren't they mm -hmm. well as John says it's been a laugh anyway you just got to take it as it goes, haven't you? So I will see you on Monday at 8 o'clock with Gwen. Have a super weekend. Cheerio.